President Röpke, dear Oliver, allow me to join your colleagues in congratulating you on your election as President of the European Economic and Social Committee. Your experience and your commitment to social fairness in the European project are well known. And the committee is fortunate to have you. What makes your work so important is the strong alliance that you nurture between trade unions, employers and civil society. It is a bond built on cooperation and on solidarity. And it strengthens our society. So I would like to thank you all for extending this bond beyond our union's borders. To the Ukrainian people, for example, who are fighting against the Russian aggressor and who are fighting for a future with European integration, social fairness and economic opportunity. The committee is also supporting representatives in Belarus who dream of democracy in their country too. And you are so right. We must do all we can to support our neighbors who are standing up for freedom, for fairness, and for a better future for their children. Because these are the values that bring us all together as Democrats and Europeans. To face these challenges, we need also to strengthen the bond between workers, innovators and reformers here at home. This is how we overcame the pandemic together. And this is how we are now overcoming the energy crisis. Thanks to sound economic policy with a strong social heart. And we need even more of that today. So the Commission is working hard to bring the European social pillar to life. We launched a new push for equality in the workplace with equal pay for equal work, with a child and youth guarantee, with a new care strategy, with a fair minimum wage, and with a proposal to protect platform workers. Because our social market economy is based on a very simple idea, that Europe's greatest strength lies in each and every one of us. And this is also the secret of Europe's competitiveness. Our Green Deal industrial plan is built on the conviction that we can only secure Europe's future prosperity if we use all the levers of the social market. Conducive regulation and funding are important, but not enough. We also need skills for quality jobs. And in a time of labor shortages in key areas, it is investments in people and their know-how that drive the pace of our green and digital transitions. And this is why we are pressing ahead with the Pact for Skills. To conclude, the Commission looks forward to working closely with the committee and with you, President, dear Oliver. Not only can we strengthen the social dimension at the heart of Europe's social market economy, but we can also nurture the competitiveness and innovation that secures jobs and opportunity here in Europe for our generation and for those to come. Thank you very much and all my best wishes, dear Oliver, for your presidency.